Yo, oh man, it is very late at night time and I'm in the mood to do a bit of a ramble video. One that I've promised for the past probably few months and I have not yet delivered until hopefully tonight. Um, so, welcome to the uh, a bit of ramble. Now, as always, I have nothing prepared. I have nothing ready to talk about. Maybe one thing on my mind, which is dick, and that's about all I know how to talk about. Thank you. And something I just found out is that I've been recording all my videos with the wrong something, and I've lost, like, probably a good amount of footage in the past few days. I didn't realize all my videos were saving under some other shit, and I don't even know how to open it. It's not opening. I normally use that Windows Movie Player shit. I'm old school. I like that stuff. I'm not using no new crap. That is my thing to use. Um, so I'm kind of having to redo a few clips in the future. I'm like the hardcore, but I'll probably just do a little talk over, honestly. It's not really a big deal. Um, anyway, so for this video, ah, nice, lovely sponsor that we have. You guys may have heard of them before, just maybe. This video is sponsored by Guild of Heroes, which is a good and exciting old action RPG for fans of hardcore fantasy classics such as Diablo and World of Warcraft. If you like Diablo, this is the game for you. You can repel attacks from hordes of monsters in an exciting PvE campaign. You will deal with ominous dungeons as well as thousands of various of enemies, goblins, diabolical summoners, and of course, a hardcore boss. Choose any of the possible classes such as a warrior, an archer, or a wizard. You can change your class anytime during the game. As starting all over can become very repetitive and annoying, this has saved everyone a bunch of time. I personally preferred going with the Wizard as it's always been my favorite class. You can also fight in PvP arenas against other players. Download the game for free from the App Store, Google Play, or on Amazon. You can go ahead and download the game using my link in the description to get yourself a free 1600 gold pieces and 75 diamonds. See y'all in there. And now that I've lost a good 90% of y'all, hopefully the rest of you can enjoy and listen. Yeah, the loyal people are still here, right? Hopefully, oh, yeah, we're good. Um, so, what the hell has been up the past few months? Um, there should be, hopefully, a hardcore video coming out on this account soon. I know I put one together because I recently finished 20 mil base XP. Thank you. If I had like a clapping sound in the back, I would totally put this in right now. Um, hey, you know what? That was a long goal I had from a long ass time ago. It really isn't that hard to do once you're actually maxed, but I just didn't really put too much time into it because obviously I've been doing a Slayer. So if you aren't caught up on that video, at least maybe now you will be. I did finish the 20 mil base. I don't have any staminas in this inventory, do I? Eh, that's okay. Don't judge me. I wasn't planning on going smelting tonight, but uh, maybe for a little while I will try to do that. Um, so yeah, the 20 mil base is done. I've set the stats to 30 mil like I've said and uh, that'll be my long-term goal maybe for the rest of this year. Obviously with making new accounts, I uh, have to sometimes do AFK things. I've been doing a bit of load lately. I'm not going to lie, dude. There's been a load, a, a load, a load of load? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. There's been a lot of load that I've been doing. Uh, probably like three or so mil XP so far. I'll probably do a whole lot more. Because my other account still needs a whole lot more work, so we'll be there for a while. Um, I mean, 30 mil, 30 mil uh, mining has to be done somehow anyways. And hey, it's nice to get uh, some supplies for smithing anyways while doing this. So at least it's good for the future as well. Less gold mining, less freaking all that shit mining. Um, I guess speaking of game modes, just a few days ago, or like, well, actually today or this morning, I think, they did discuss... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't read anything about it, but I saw something about it, I mentioned it in my stream, a few people filled me in on it. There's some kind of League game mode they're considering releasing or something. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be announced more after RuneFest or during, obviously, or whatever, but um, there's some kind of Twitter post that they released on it. Uh, didn't read too much about it, but what I assumed I think is correct, it's probably gonna be... Almost like King of the Skill, I believe, where you have like a little bit of time to do stuff and then you see how high you get. I'm not really too sure what the hell actually happens to it. Um, definitely a game mode that could have potential, but for me, if you lose the account after two months of playing it, uh, that's definitely not my game style. I, that's not me, dude. I don't want to lose nothing that I'm working towards. So um, if that's what it is, I probably will have no interest in doing something like that. It'll be interesting to watch, maybe. 
um i would imagine that would almost be like uh where it pretty much just be like a reset almost like a game reset i think now i could be fully wrong and just talking completely out of my ass but uh that's roughly what i was told it would be something kind of similar to that where you would just play a whole lot race to like max total or some shit there'd be like extra loots or extra xps or something almost like the dead man crap honestly wouldn't it be similar to that probably yeah um but for like skilling slash i don't even actually know if it's iron man or not it probably is i don't see how that could not be iron man so i'm just gonna go with assuming it is iron man so yeah um yeah seems somewhat interesting for me i not for me though that's the only thing oops i already had mithril now let's do that um so yeah it does seem like something that might grab some attention but uh not for not for me i mean then again we could always make a video on it like a few videos a series kind of thing but uh i'm not that efficient anymore i've stopped trying to be efficient a long time ago <clears throat> and that game mode seems like it would be more about efficiency so maybe someone like soup could deliver amazingly for you guys on youtube with that series uh, but for me i'm the lazy cunt nowadays dude i play this game the lazy way i have to do my load mining like to do blood rune mining or rune crafting same yeah it's kind of mining uh yeah anything anything i could do that's afk would be just greatly appreciated jack thank you so much uh so that's the way i've been doing a lot of things lately i guess with multitasking it, it's kind of necessary but i do things a very relaxed way these days don't i oh well i mean that's how it is um hey it's gotten me to 20 mil base which is good uh I guess we could talk about RuneScape for a little bit, obviously, yeah. Oh, one thing I will probably talk about soon is maybe a little bit of the vacation that I took um, in June, May, June? No, June. Yeah, June, something like that. Uh, when I went to Cyprus and visited family, I was going to discuss it in a ramble video right after, but I never made the ramble video, so we're making it here instead. Um, so, uh, yeah, currently on the high scores, I am ranked three. I'm not too far from passing the guy above me because he's dead. Uh, he's 58 mil, uh, so I'm about 43 mil XP off of him. Uh, taking it slow anyways, it's not like I'm really rushing to pass anyone, but uh, that's roughly where he is, and I think there's one account that's got more XP than me that's not top page yet. Um, as far as I know, the account just does a lot of Nightmare Zone. I don't really know what the account is, I'll be quite honest with you, but uh, yeah, shout out to that guy. I, I think he does like a lot of Nightmare Zone, and He's ranked one cooking, I think, too, which I assume he did the uh, Koran method, which I'll give him respect to that. That shit is annoying as hell. I wouldn't want to do that. But, uh, yeah, I think he's got, like, fire making or thieving. I'm not really too sure. Um, I get this question a ton of times in my streams, and uh, I'm sure you guys might already know. I don't really have any plans on uh, getting rank one on this account. I know it's kind of been something that I've maybe I should have gotten it by now, considering I've always been a skiller pretty much. Even though I made a hardcore Iron Man, just a skill on, isn't that fucking nice, Alkan? Thank you. Oh, and if you're asking how I do Blast Furnace, I literally just buy shit normally while I smith. Um, I'm not buying much right now because I want to record this video and prioritize it more, but when I do smithing at Blast Furnace, I literally just hop worlds while I'm doing it and just... I shouldn't tell you this. You know what? Remove that from the video, dude. Why are you telling you this fucking secret shit? Um, so, yeah, I might not hop too much during this video. Oh, just, why can that not just be like fucking whew we're good uh, I've heard that something like that rune light plus client that I could literally hide that guy if I wanted to apparently with it um, oh we're going to talk about that later on I'm sure too uh, probably right yeah we've got to dude we've got to holy shit I actually have things to talk about I think this is good um, yeah so as far as rank 1 stuff goes I'm not pushing for it, but hey, if it happens, it happens. I'm not playing more hours than I would normally want to play. I'm not playing less. Well, I mean, a little bit less, honestly. I'm sleeping a bit more. The gym and stuff like that is uh, going yeah, somewhat great. Um, dieting has been going well. I've rarely ever dieted in my life, but I've been doing a little bit of the fasting diet, so it's been kind of working a little bit. Uh, don't know exactly how much I'm down, but there's a little bit of a noticeable difference in my cock. It's a much leaner looking cock. Uh, I think I'm down roughly 15 to 20. I don't really know. Pounds, not kilograms, bitch. All right. Maybe in five more months, we'll be down that much. But uh, we'll see what happens. Obviously, I'm a pretty heavy weight as it is. So losing weight isn't too difficult at my weight. But it slows down like a motherfucker, dude. Uh, but 
Yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Just eating a bit cleaner, having like, uh, I think, what is it? Sometimes I have an eight hour window. Sometimes I have a six hour window of eating. I'm not one to do a water diet. I've heard a lot about that stuff. Listen, bitch, I like food. I can't do that. How the hell do you drink water for like a straight 24 hour cycle? What the fuck is it? Some people do it for like three days straight. I'm like, dude, I mean, I know you can do that. Like you won't die or anything, but what the fuck? Water for three days and no food? Nah, screw that, dude. I enjoy food too much to do that to myself, all right? I'm not trying to die early. I'm trying to just live a bit longer. <laughs> not that I know if it's even healthy or not, but uh, who knows? Maybe it is. I'm not going to get into that. And I don't want you to get into it either, cunt. All right, you fucking RuneScape player acting like you know everything about everything. Jesus, so sick of those people. God damn it. Um, I'll let the doctors tell us if the water's... Even though dude, doctors even have different opinions too, like half the time. One year eggs are good, one year eggs are bad. I mean, think about dieting, dude. Carbs used to be looked at as like the devil. Now, or no, they used to be looked at as a good thing. Now they're looked at as a devil, you know. It's like, oh, if you work out, you must have rice and chicken. And now it's like... All right, drop the rice, just eat the chicken and fucking something else. Now now it's keto. Dude, it's, things are changing all the time, dude. Um, maybe just every diet in the world works. We just haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> fucking oh, everything has changed, dude. I remember carbs and chicken breasts were always like the best option. And now it's like no one eats carbs. Maybe like five grams of it. Um, but what I'm doing is working. That's all I care about. I don't really care what any other options there are out there. As long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, we're good to go. And as long as I don't lose motivation, we're good to go as well. Um, so what else are we uh, going to discuss about the rank stuff? Eh, there's not much to say, honestly. Is there 20 mil base, 30 mil base? Hopefully sometime in 2020, I'd like to say, since this year is not that far from over, which is quite crazy. RuneFest is actually soon too. And yes, I'll be going in case any YouTubers haven't heard me say that yet. By YouTubers, I mean you guys, like YouTube viewers, not really YouTube people. Um, dude, I feel so out of date with YouTube sometimes. Like, I don't do anything on YouTube, dude. I, I upload, like, once a fucking blue moon at this point. I was going to say once a week, but that's if I'm lucky I upload that much. Um, one thing I will say is, and I knew I was going to regret doing it anyways, is the new hardcore I made, the one that you're watching at the very bottom of the screen that's fishing pretty much, or I'm tempting to fish at least. Um, I knew that that... Uploading on that account was going to be like not so great in terms of views and some people might get mad at me I was considering just not uploading it at all. Honestly um, It wasn't the money that turned me on it was just more of a lot of people just want to see that stuff So I mean they still get somewhat views um, But I can understand that my viewers might not completely enjoy that because it's like the third or fourth time I've done it Hey, don't hate me dude. I disconnected on my last account. All right the other account I made, it lasted a long time, it disconnected, and I had to restart. So, uh, I mean, don't, I don't know, dude. I got to the PVM stage and then instantly disconnected. So, I had to do something. I mean, <laughs> that shit was depressing, man. Uh, so, I do apologize, dude, if like some of these videos in the sub box piss people off. Um, you know, just, just watch them when they get more interesting, alright? The thumbnails will get better hopefully soon in terms of like what I'm actually going to do in the video. I don't mean like my editing will get better. I don't do that shit, dude. No thanks. <laughs> I'm living in 2010 right now. I'm not doing no 2019 shit. Um, editing, me, yeah, I'm good, man. I just take a screenshot, make the picture a bit bigger for the thumbnail, and we're good to go, man. That's pretty much how we do it. Um, so, yeah, I don't really bother uh, with that. But, yeah, the thumbnails will be like hopefully God War soon or De Demonic Gorillas soon enough. Maybe a month or so more. Obviously, RuneFest will push me back about a week. I don't plan on playing, like, at all when I'm at RuneFest. I will try doing maybe some Nightmare Zone. Do I do some Nightmare Zone? I don't know. We'll see. I don't want that to be in my way, dude. It's, like, a nice time to take a break from the game, uh, which seems to be what a lot of people are actually doing these days. I, I don't know if you guys have looked at Twitch at all, but there's been quite a few RuneScape streamers that are playing a bit less RuneScape and a bit more WoW and other games as well, honestly. Not just that, but... Um, hey, hopefully everything works out for those people. I'm unfortunately addicted to RuneScape, so I actually can't really quit, which might be a good thing in terms of Twitch for me at least, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe sometimes I get bored, but I don't, I don't think I do. Like, genuinely, I don't think I get bored of the game, which is, an, it's a problem. It's not a flex. It's, this is a big issue. Um, if I, like, I'm just, I'm motivated for my newbie account right now, like the new hardcore I made, so, like, that's keeping me going. 
Uh, this account, I'm motivated to keep AFKing it while I'm playing on my hardcore Iron Man, which is why I'm actually making these bars right here, because I want to make uh, Mithril Dart tips while I'm uh, on my other account. And Mithril Darts are really easy to smith and AFK while streaming, so it's easy to multitask, is what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just trying to make that. I don't really want to do Addy Darts. I've thought about it. I don't know if I want to make any Addy Darts on this account. I might just stick to making only Mithril. And with Addy, I'm going to make Addy Plate Bodies, probably. On a Hardcore, I would do that. On a regular Iron Man, I'd probably make Addy Darts and use them even, if anything. Um, but I don't really even use Darts anymore in terms of like actual training. Uh, Blowpipe's completely died off for me. Like I don't use that item anymore, which is kind of crazy to think. Like My range XP is 74 mil right now. And a lot of that is for me doing Slayer and maybe some raids, I guess. That kind of adds up a little bit. Maybe like 5 mil from raids, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I used to Blowpipe, Aberrant Spectres, Blue Dragons, Red Dragons. Um, I don't know what else. There's a few more things, I'm pretty sure. Cave Horrors, which I stopped doing, obviously. Um, I don't know what else there was, but there was a lot of things you could Blowpipe. I mean, it's still like good to do it in terms of the Slayer XP, but it's just not really efficient to do anymore. By that, I mean, like, I don't know, blowpiping fucking, I don't know, blood valves even? Like, that's pretty fast compared to even the melee method, but it's just a complete waste to do that, especially because of the scales. Um, speaking of scales, uh, hold on. Let me try to do that streamer thing. I know last time I showed you guys this a little while ago, I believe. Um, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Here is the uh, the dead hardcore Iron Man. That is one million and sixty nine thousand Zolra scales. I think last video, at the very ending, I showed roughly seven hundred thousand scales. Um, yeah, that account. I don't really do anything on it, but that it's. Uh, I don't know. It's. I just. I'm. I'm just addicted, dude. Fuck. I don't know. I just. It's AFK, so I just click every once in a while and. Uh, Things, things work out on it. So um, that account at the moment, if you guys aren't aware, is pretty much my backup Iron Man account. By that, I mean if the account right now on the screen that's fishing dies early on, it disconnects or some bullshit or I do some stupid shit and die, um, that's going to be the account that I use. I'm not sure if I can turn this fan on. You guys might hear too much audio from that. I haven't really gotten like settled in with all this stuff because I set up the... Uh, the new Ironside computer, which is why all the files are saving incorrectly because everything reset. Um, but yeah, if that account dies early, uh, you know, I'll just grab the dead hardcore Iron Man and start PVMing on it. Like long term, I said my goal was just to PVM if the hardcore dies originally. But then I got to the stage where I started PVMing, like I said, and then it disconnected and it just kind of turned me off. My goal was to keep PVMing. Um, but I just couldn't do it. I just I want that chance to see how far I can get. I am jealous of hardcores that have been PVMing for like a year and they haven't disconnected and died yet to it. It's it's unbelievable to me to think that that's a thing. There's people out there that don't disconnect in a straight year and die, especially not with just their internet, but with the servers being crap. That amazes me, dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck? As soon as that account got to the PVM stage, it disconnected. So that goes all my fucking work into it. Um, hopefully though, at least since I moved into the house, my internet has not disconnected at all, which I'm very fortunate for. I do have fiber, so, you know, I have the direct fucking line and everything. Um, I'm also using ethernet, obviously. I bought like a fucking 50 foot ethernet cord. So, uh, yeah, it's going straight to my computer, obviously. Um, in my old house, it was just, the router was right beside the computer. And this one, it's just across the hall, technically. Um... I don't know if there's been a video uploaded yet on my house tour. There should have been by now, but it prob I bet you a hundred bucks is probably not out yet. I have to still make it as of right now, but it should it should have been out a long time ago. So you guys will see my house layout uh, soon enough if it, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so yeah, make sure you watch that video, dude. I'm gonna probably unbox my uh, Ironside computer inside that video as well and show it off a little bit because it's quite a beauty. Uh, what else is there? So, yeah, that's the backup plan. There's a play on that account. That's why I'm just fishing on it. I think I'm top 100 fishing and cooking now as well somehow. So, I mean, I don't know. It's going up. Let me just open up this drink real quick. Okay, there we go. I, I'm going to get dry mouth soon, so. 
may as well take care of it now before I start slurring more often than I usually do. I'm not even sure actually where my slurring has come from. I, I know that like the whole CTE thing has got me thinking a little bit about it. I mean, playing rugby and football for a while. I do have a bit of weird stutter sometimes and some, yeah, dude, I don't know. Is that is that what it is or am I just going dumber? I do feel like my speech is getting worse. I don't know if that's CT or not because I really didn't give a shit about my brain when I was playing those sports. I, mean, I still don't care much about it, but dude, I just, I went in, dude. Like if, you know, I had the ball, I would go in with my head, man. That's how you do it. Well, shoulder and then, you know, your head would get in the way, obviously. But sometimes I'd go with the head too. So... <laughs> Um, who knows? Yeah, I'm probably long term. I'm gonna be like fucked up. Uh, I'm already fucked up. Yeah, but I'll be more fucked up within the next few years, I'm sure. So eventually, we'll just do music only uh, videos without me talking. Hopefully, and it'll be something to watch. Um, uh, right, the client stuff. Um, yeah. So you guys are probably aware of Runelight Plus being out. Uh, just to quickly confirm. There's no affiliate with RuneLight and RuneLight Rune Plus. They're not made by the same people. They're just similar names, obviously. Um, uh, I don't remember the owner's names, honestly. There's one Adam and one is Kyle, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, as far as I'm aware, right now, RuneLight Plus is very overpowered with a lot of things. I don't think Jags has made official statements about it yet, which is uh, a little bit depressing because, you know, they used to care a lot about stuff like that unless they're waiting till runefest to make an announcement it's like hey we're banning all th dude i'm gonna make one small prediction for runefest they might ban all clients and come out with their own that sounds far-fetched but dude the fact that all these clients are popping out and they're not saying anything about it kind of makes me think they might already have a plan for it they just don't want to release the information yet because maybe they're waiting till runefest um Either that or it's going to be Group Iron Man, probably, which a lot of people are assuming by now. Though, uh, is it going to be Group Iron Man, considering they just announced that whole League shit? They're not going to do two new game modes within a year, are they? That would be a stupid idea if they were. Um, so if they're doing that League mode, that means... I just thought about that. That means we're probably not going to get Group Iron Man for a long time, dude. As far as I'd be aware, they're, they're not one to release two game modes in a year, are they? I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it, though. I, dude, I kind of doubt that. Holy, I just realized we might actually get that. Um, well, we'll see how the league thing goes, at least. Uh, like I said, I don't really plan on playing it. I don't think, at least. It doesn't interest me too much. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Considering how many people have asked for Group Iron Man, if they go ahead and make their own little bullshit called League or whatever, <laughs> and uh, they just completely ignore the Group Iron Man aspect, that would be a slap in the face, I'd imagine, to most people. Um... In terms of Group Iron Man, I'm, uh, am I looking forward to it? I don't really know. Maybe? I mean, I guess I'm looking forward to Group Iron Man, but at the same time, not really. I'm, I'm happy with the accounts I'm currently on. I'm happy with the progress I've been making. I'm excited for the hardcore to start PVMing. And this account, I enjoy nothing but skilling on it. So, like, you know, skilling is, dude, I've, I've always been a skiller, dude. I can't change. I don't think it's just the way it is. Um... And uh, there's always more goals to go with while you're skilling anyway, so it doesn't really stop, does it? Even after 200 mil all, it doesn't stop, does it? Just make more accounts, don't you? Yeah, you stupid idiot. Never going to leave this game, are you? It's all right. That's fine. Hey, at this point, you know, I've kind of made it my job, I guess. So, you know, a nice flex, dude. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good thing, right? Play something for 20 hours a day. You may as well, hopefully, if you're lucky, make it your job. That way you don't look like a loser playing it. That way you can tell people that... Well, it's my job, and I just like to put in hard hours because I'm a hardworking man. See that right there? That's how you do it, dude. That's how you do it. Now I don't look like a complete loser. I just look like I work very hard at my job. That's all. Yeah, that's what I'll be telling people. Um, but yeah, the group Iron Man thing. Uh, hmm. I would do it. I have plans on doing it with, obviously, probably other YouTubers or streamers, I'd imagine, just to make it a bit more entertaining, maybe. Um... Plus, I kind of like, yeah, I kind of like Soup and Devious a little bit. I don't know if I'd do it with them or not. Uh, soup, I mean, huh, maybe. Devious is a wild card, really, isn't he? Like, he will play 20 hours a day, then he'll fucking play, like, COD for 20 hours a day and masturbate the whole time. So, maybe not COD. I don't know what the hell he plays. CSGO, fucking Fortnite. I don't know what the hell that dude's playing these days. But I think right now, he is actually back to RuneScape, so... 
Yeah, for like, what, another week or so, huh, Devious? Another week, you're going to leave again, aren't you, huh? Uh, but I uh, I thought about this a while ago. I've already told him on Twitch, so people may already know. But, dude, if Group Iron Man did come, I, I wouldn't mind having like one or two people come visit me uh, in my actual house, like IRL, and just like do like a group house kind of thing. That sounds gay. I didn't mean it in that way. A group Iron Man, but like... We're all at the same house playing. Almost like a streamer house, I guess. Um, I mean, this this house does have two bedrooms and a pretty damn big living room that you could easily put, like, a computer there, too, honestly. So we really could do it. Um, it'd be cool until, like, I get bored of DVS being around me. Then, like, fucking, what do I do? Send him back to the U.S. or something? I don't really know. Uh, but we'll see. That'd be kind of a cool design, I think, one day to have something like this. So even though, let's be honest, most... Streamer houses and YouTube houses don't work out, dude. They do not work out. Um, which makes sense. I mean, you do get tired of people after a while. Um, there's only a few people in my life I'd imagine I wouldn't get sick of after a while. And those would maybe be like a few high school friends. Like, like one or two. Maybe one or two. I'm thinking Jason, which is the Asian guy you guys have probably seen in my videos a way long time ago. And... Uh, and uh soup sister whoa he didn't just go dude, is she of age now i'm pretty sure she is i can say that i was gonna say abdul's mom but i haven't heard that joke in about 10 years so i don't know if you guys are even aware of that joke at this point if you are no genie you know about abdul's mom uh please type abdul's mom in the, in the comments and i will know that you are an og do not comment it if you have no idea what the hell that means all right bitch i don't want you to be a part of this this is just me and the ogs you are not invited okay you're going to pretend you are anyways. Um, so yeah, group Iron Man seems cool. Uh, it would be more videos, I guess, and stuff. But I really don't want to abandon the accounts I'm currently working on. I wouldn't mind abandoning the account that I'm fishing on right now, obviously. Uh, by that, I mean the one I'm fishing scales on. Not See how nerdy I am? I to describe the account and shit. Not the one fishing cramblins right now. The one that's not on the screen anymore. Um... I would drop that account in a heartbeat because I just have not that much interest in playing it. If I have to wait, do I need to pick these up? I probably do. I don't even know, dude. There we go. I need to just do a whole bunch of coal, don't I? Let's actually hop some worlds and just do a whole bunch of coal. That'll be smart. Uh, Blast Furnace World. There we go. Um. Okay. So, yeah, the client thing. Um. I don't know if anyone's going to actually get banned for using Rune Knight Plus. Uh, I... Personally, don't really think anyone should. I think Jack should just step in and just make changes or something. Uh, if they haven't made a statement yet, then I don't know. It's kind of like, what are, you, what are you doing then? You're just waiting for more people to use it so then you can ban them after? What's going on? Um, so, yeah, I just wish that it wasn't such a great area when it came to clients. That's all. But there is quite a few OP things in there. Uh, left click construction and pickpocketing, I believe, were the main ones that I've, I've known about. Um, yeah, I don't know. If they don't fix anything, then fuck, let's just go do it, dude. Why not? You may as well. You may as well go abuse it, dude. Don't know if it's going to be bannable, though, so don't take my word on that. It could be bannable for all I know in the future. Um, but as far as I know, they haven't done any bans for it. I mean, you would think they would do some just to let people know. Um... That's always been kind of an issue with Jax, hasn't it been? All they really have to do is say, well, I guess they've already kind of made statements about clients. They're like, yeah, use that your own use, haven't they? I guess that kind of covers their ass. So if you do get banned for Runelight Plus, then technically, do I not have to a proper world? I don't even know what happens to that ore if I'm not in a proper Blast Furnace world. Does that go down or do I just lose that shit? I feel like I just lost it. I have no idea, dude, how that shit actually works. <laughs> I have a feeling that shit is not going to be uh, coming back to me, is it? I have 112 coal in there. Oh, it did go through. Okay. That's fucking interesting. I don't know what that even means, but all right. That looks... Uh... Yeah, that went in there, didn't it? Okay, huh. I've never done that before. I just thought, honestly, it just stays in that one world and you just, you just never get it back or something. Um... Cool. Learn something new every day, I guess. Uh, let's go here. All oh, right, the bank did reach five bill recently. I put my cash back. I can't do that, can I? Clear. In. Uh, there it is. Five, almost point one. Um, nice. Flex it so you can get hacked, you idiot. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good actually when it comes to the bank value. I haven't really done anything to make my bank value go up. I mean, I've done, I guess, Slayer, but I don't even know if Slayer makes you that much money anymore because I'm you pretty much barrage so many Slayer tasks these days. It really has changed. It's insane. The uh, the farming contracts has changed so much on the Iron Man accounts. It's incredible. Not that I'm a huge fan of it, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. I'm still happy that I have killed so many Necreals in the Slayer Tower. I do not regret those, honestly. Just because at that point, the mindset was doing them, so I don't really regret it. But it has given me so many freaking seeds. Like, I have still... What is it? 2,300 Toad Flax seeds, I think? Let me go look. I can show you guys, actually. Um, I'm not sure there'll be a bank feed in this video or not, but I guess we'll see. Uh, Herb Tab is... Uh, 35,000 Toad Flax, 3,000 more there. The nests are at, yeah, 13.5 roughly. And the seeds are here. 2,200, 2,300 pretty much Toad Flax. That's awesome. <laughs> it's like a 1,000 seaweed. That's all from doing Slayer. Oops, wrong way. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, what is that, like 20,000 more Toad Flax and seeds? Maybe 21,000? I don't really even know. Uh, plus the ones I have. It'll eventually run out. I am farming seeds faster than I'm getting them in return, I think, these days. So, looks like long term, you really just have to play long game farming contracts. So, if you want, like, a lot of Herb XP, you really can't rely on farm contracts. You have to just go do Necreals or something. But if you want long term Herb lore, like, just consistent. Um, oops, I forgot to fill that, didn't I? And I guess you have to do, uh, just, yeah, that contracts and just wait for the seeds. That was an Australian one. No wonder it was lagging like crazy. I knew I filled it up, but I guess because it was lagging. Sometimes when you fill up your pouch, you don't notice it because you do it so quickly. Uh, I just thought it was one of those times there, but stupid Australian worlds, dude. Had like 250 ping in those worlds, I believe. Not that it's, I mean, you know, I'll say a few worlds that are Australian, but now I know how the Aussies feel when they are in American worlds, pretty much. Even though I feel like every world to me doesn't lag. It's literally just, oh wait, I got to pick these up, don't I? Yeah. I think the only worlds I actually like in is Australia. I think German worlds are fine. UK worlds are pretty good. Americans are pretty good, uh, obviously. But, yeah, I don't know. It's literally just Australians that are absolute shit to me. Uh, okay, all my staminas are out, aren't they? Okay, let's go to my... Where is it? Here. Yes. I don't want to ruin that number. It's such a good number to have, but... All right, there's the 8,000 staminas we can go through, I guess. Why not? I uh, don't use these like at all anymore because I only use them for raids in the past. Which, oh, I haven't talked about that, have I? See, this is what sucks about doing YouTube and streaming. I finished raids actually on this account like a few months ago. Maybe like two or three months ago. Um, I got a uh, Elder Maul at like 590kc. Uh, let me see, log, collection log. Now, it's not going to show everything that I have in here, but... Uh, cause it's, you know, ever since the update, but <laughs> yeah, I'm at 592 KC and I have finished everything. What's amazing is the small amount of dupes I have. I literally only have one ex extra ancestral hat. I have obviously prayer schools dupes. That's pretty hard to not get. I have one extra twisted buckler and that's it. I only have one crossbow, one top, one bottom, one bulwark, one of these each, one claw. <laughs> I've never gotten Onyx. I've never soloed in my life. I think I tried solo once, and I uh, I just will, wasn't willing to put in the time, I think, to learn it, I think, is what it was. It doesn't seem like it's too bad. You get used to it, I think. I kind of do a little bit of it when I'm doing team raids. Like, I was getting used to uh, running across when I was attacking the melee hand, like if I was doing the melee hand mostly. Um, so I was avoiding the hit. So I'm getting, like, a little bit used to that shit, but I just never really concentrated on caring enough to do it because I just fucking you just do team raids with like two alts and you get like 32k points in about 36 minutes or something 32 minutes um which is pretty good unless you can do no prep solo raids that's the only time that you get really fast times and uh, really good points an hour but if you do solos with with prepping you're gonna average almost what team raids would be if you use alts I think honestly so yeah, by alts, I just mean you just have an extra account in the raid just to buff everything's hit points up. I know it sounds a bit dirty to use the word alt, but, uh, yeah. There, I, I, I think they should add something in raids that buffs everything's hit points anyways. 
I don't know why they don't just do that so you don't have to bring alts anymore with you. There should be an update where you could just say, hey, I want you to print, pretend there's an extra person in here or an extra two people in here. That way you can just technically do scaled raids without having to uh, bring other accounts. Because using the term alt just looks disgusting. All right, we just got 87 fishing. That's, uh, I can do the Zilra shit now, can't I? Huh. I don't know if I'm going to be doing Zilra scales on that account. I know I've obviously done a lot of it, so it is good, but I think you would need higher fishing to make it decent. Um, but it's cool to know I've done that. Hell yeah, 87. All right, I'll probably still be fishing Cramblins for a while. In the future, I'll fish a lot as well for food. Um, as far as the newbie hardcore goes, um, what stage am I going to be working on for it? Uh, I've been doing barrows just on stream for the past, like, I don't know, week straight, which has been honestly, like, quite fucking boring. Uh, I mean, it's something to do, but <laughs> it gets it gets boring, dude. I, like, naturally, I am a skiller, aren't I? Um, <clears throat> I don't mind hardcore PVM, but barrels ain't really PVM, I mean, that does not... I mean, hey, a lot of hardcores have died doing barrows, but, uh... <laughs> I don't want to count that as PVMing, so that shit is to me is to me very boring. I have gotten a lot of runes in that account though in the past uh, in the past week. I think I'm at like fifty thousand chaos runes almost. Um, what else do I have? Uh, Twenty thousand almost or so death runes, I think. And uh, obviously, I've gotten more than that, but I've had to recharge my trident obviously many times. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. So when I go back to Slayer, I'll be able to afford a bunch of Bursting without having to buy more runes, which means I'll actually be profiting off Slayer for a little while because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have to uh, buy any runes to continue Bursting. So just all the alchemicals I'll grab and get to keep them and out them. Um, but yeah, that's the, that account's uh, not, it's doing pretty good, dude. Honestly, it's been about three months just about now, I think, on that account. And we are, what, 88 Slayer on it still. Uh, 82 farming? No, yeah, 82 farming, almost 83, I believe. I just finished getting my seed box, and I realized that the recording I had on my seed box is the recording I had to delete because the uh, footage wouldn't open up. So, um, yeah, if I don't have that in my progress video, then oh well, I guess uh, you just know that I got it, all right? Um, I got that mostly for doing uh, whenever I go over to thieving master farmers, which I hate because I you need such high thieving for master farmers, dude. And I have to get the level that I need for it because I don't know how else to get peapots these days. So, uh, yeah, I pretty much decided to go for 99 thieving on it, get the master farmers unlocked, and have unlimited peapots unlocked because of that. So, you would obviously need to get a seed box for that. So, I spent like four or five hours. It is a lot better now, though, with left clicking. Um, it's not even a rune light thing, but Jax has actually updated it. And I said a long time ago that if they ever did make it left click for watering or planting even, that a lot more people would probably do it. And yeah, it's a lot better now. I think I've noticed a few more people doing it. I do know this. On this account, I will be losing rank 1 farming pretty soon, actually. Uh, there's a hardcore doing tithe farming, I think, all, the, all day long, like 10 hours a day or some shit. So shout out to him. He'll be uh, having the rank one farming spot pretty soon. I've held on to that bitch for like, I don't know how long, like a year and a half or something, maybe two years even. Considering I started five months late, uh, could have been even sooner than that, but yeah. Um, passed 100 mil just recently in farming, which uh, felt pretty good, dude. 100 mil fucking farming is uh, it's pretty irrelevant these days, considering how easy farming's gotten, huh? <laughs> fucking birdhouses, dude, and the way Slayer has changed over the fucking past 10 years. Um, let's go do a birdie run actually real quick. I'm trying to stay um, on track with bird runs, honestly. I've been doing them a lot more than I used to. Actually, let's do it on both accounts. They should be both done, right? I think. Let me see. Yeah, they should be both done. Uh, let's just bank that. Grab this. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. I like doing them on both accounts at the same time. Now, that way I don't got to worry about it uh, later on. I think I just teleported to the wrong place, didn't I? Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I have everything enabled, don't I? One, two, three, four, this, this. Okay, that should be good enough. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've just been sticking to it. I think I'm getting like 400k Hunter per week almost on this account just by doing birdhouse runs. So, yeah, I hit 37 mil today, dude. That's insane. 37 million Hunter, bro. I think I only hunted roughly 11 mil XP uh, with chins, maybe 10 mil XP. And the rest is all strictly from birdhouse runs, so 
Yeah, dude, just do them. It's worth doing. So much herb XP as well from the bird's nest. And uh, obviously the, the farming XP from the seeds. Even though the seeds aren't as good as they used to be. Um, ever since that little nerf, obviously. Which was a huge nerf. And they rebuffed it, I think, because they nerfed it really bad. Um, it was still technically worth doing, but it was just too much of an annoyance for me to even bother really doing too much. So I stopped doing a lot of birdhouse runs, but good thing they kind of rebuffed it a little bit. It's, uh, it's quite well balanced, I'd say, where it is now. I mean, long term, it is quite overpowered, I'll be honest. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, probably the only way you're going to make people do it is, uh, if the loot's good. I don't really think the XP is honestly worth doing it for. It's, uh... About a minute for like 5k XP or something, but just the inconvenience of it, I think, is why most people wouldn't do it if you didn't get anything good from it. Not that this run was any good. I didn't get shit. Oh, that's alright. Oh, I also remember hearing something about, uh, I, th I believe it's mostly RS3, probably because of microtransactions. Um, I think Jax is almost in some kind of legal trouble with uh, microtransactions and RS3. I, I heard some weird shit. I don't really know how true it is uh, and what exactly is going on, but are they being investigated or some shit? Because of, like, I guess technically what they're doing is gambling online, and I'm assuming that's becoming a bigger no-no over time, uh, especially for miners, obviously. Um, that was not a voice crack, I don't think. Honestly, it probably was. Um, now, I, I assume, though, is if Jax does get in trouble for this, I'm going to assume they're just going to change how treasure hunter works um on rs3 they're probably going to make it where on certain promotions or just in general uh a certain amount of spins will get you a certain amount of items probably oh i can't deposit this can i okay well most of it um because as of right now microtransactions is technically gambling you have a chance to win something if they were to make the results um 100 percent guaranteed it's no longer gambling so yeah, I don't think microtransactions will be removed, but they might change the way it works if they are in legal trouble with it. Because right now, yeah, you can spend a bond or you can spend real money on buying spins and uh, you have a chance to win experience as opposed to if they make it guaranteed, then it's probably no longer considered gambling because you're per it's just a purchase at that point, right? You're buying a, a bond or you're buying a bunch of spins and every spin you use, um, you know, you get a large star or something and that's guaranteed loot so it wouldn't really be considered uh gambling anymore would it be you're just making a purchase so um yeah i was kind of interesting to hear about that i don't know how true all the stuff is obviously i don't really focus much on rs3 anymore but if anyone is playing rs3 that wants to tell me what the hell's going on go ahead i did also hear about nex armors potentially being on my uh microtransactions actually i don't know how true that one is either i saw some pictures dude are they giving Virtus or something on the treasure hunter on that game? I mean, at this point in time, Virtus is kind of meh, I guess. But shit, dude. It's a bit scary to think about, isn't it, man? <laughs> Holy shit. I remember Bando is obviously going on there, like Armadillo, I think, given. And then the, the uh, what do you call it? The chaotic items went on there. And then, obviously, there's been like Ellie and Arcane on there forever, I guess. But... At this point in time, those are useless shields for the most part, I think. At least, unless, as far as I remember, dude, I don't know what the fuck they've done with the game, but... Um, yeah, dude, they're moving up to Virtus now, then probably, what, Torba and Pernix after? Who even knows, dude? That is a bit... That's a bit scary, dude. Holy shit. I uh, hope people are still enjoying the game. That's all that really matters. I would imagine most people that play RS3 at this point don't care much about experience anymore. Uh, probably more of a strictly PVM-based game, so... Uh, yeah, I could respect that. I've always, I've always thought the RS3 PVMing was honestly pretty cool. Um, I guess you know what this is one thing I did find that was kind of funny and weird. Not that I know much about WoW, but there is a lot of people that shat on RuneScape three, but they also kind of play WoW. I'm not saying they have a whole lot in common, but they took a big shit on how like RS3 works with like abilities and shit. But as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure WoW has all of that in it. So this is kind of a funny coincidence, I think, to see a lot of uh, a lot of old school players enjoying WoW, but they definitely take a shit on RuneScape 3. Um, not that I know that they're in any way the same. I've never played WoW, but I'm just saying killing bosses with abilities and all that stuff. It's pretty much what the game's about, you know? It's all about, like, strategically killing shit uh, as efficiently as possible and as fast as possible, right? So, 
I don't know what WoW is about, but I'm imagining it's something similar to that based on the screenshots of what I've seen with WoW. It looks like... I would say it looks like RS3, but obviously RS3 kind of copied it more than it copied that. Not that I even think it's one of the first games that have abilities and shit, but... Um, if you've never played any games like me besides RuneScape, and then you take a look at WoW, it does remind you of RuneScape 3 a lot. Even though, like I said, it was a copy from it, so... Um, it's more like RS3 looks like it, but yeah, I remember when uh, RS3 first did kind of change and they were like, this is WoWscape. I was like, I've never played WoW, but whatever. But now I can tell there's, there's a resemblance, dude. There really is. Um, but yeah, I obviously, like I said, don't play WoW, so don't think I ever really want to get into it. Do I even want to get addicted to another game, dude, at this point? Like this one's already fucked me up. What the hell is the next one going to make me do, man? I mean, I'm kind of lucky, like I said, I made this one my job. If it wasn't, um, I would hopefully have a job at this point, right? Like a real job, not like my fake one. And uh, would have be playing a bit less RuneScape, which is unfortunate. That reminds me, guys, don't forget to use your Twitch Prime, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, all I had to do that. I know I'm recording, but yeah, dude, I have to do that. I do it literally every hour from now on, okay? Thank you. It's, uh, it's a good reminder. It's good practice. All right, two things I completely forgot to discuss that I knew I was going to discuss. Uh, the, the trip to Cyprus. Kind of wish I started with this, huh? Shit. Oh, well, whatever. Um, the trip to Cyprus, visiting family, uh, was honestly amazing. I don't know Turkish that well, as many of you probably, well, some of you might know at least. Uh, my background is Turkish. I was born in Canada, um, born and raised technically, but when I was really young, I was in Cyprus. Cyprus is a very small little island underneath Turkey, just right south of it, um, in that mid area. So it's close to a lot of the European countries, technically. Um, pretty far from Africa, I guess. Yeah, pretty far. Everything's far from Africa. I don't know what the fuck that place is. Um, but yeah, it's it was, uh, dude. It was fuck. It's such an amazing island. I will say the food there is amazing and it's cheap. Uh, when I was there in grade 7, which was 2007, so about 12 years ago, um, the exchange rate was roughly one Canadian was worth about two Turkish lira, which is what they use there, at least on the Turkish side. Uh, if you want to know a bit of history of it, as far as I'm aware at least, uh, there's a Greek side to Cyprus and a Turkish side. I do believe there is more Greeks than Turks on that island, uh, quite a bit more, I think. Um... They used to have like a big war, I think, Turkey and Greek people, or Turks and Greeks. Um, not as bad anymore, I don't think. As usual with things like this, it's normally just the old people that have an issue with it. I don't think any young Greek people have an issue with like Turk, Turkish people, but uh, the elderly always, you know, I mean, I guess I don't blame them, but they're, they're often racist too, man. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but old people are racist as shit. Um, I guess it's because when they were growing up, it was probably more acceptable or it was just more normal back then. Um, but they tend to have more of a grudge and like a racist grudge. So, yeah, I mean, once they kind of die out, I guess that will be all good. But as far as I remember, when you were on that, when I was on that island, and if we wanted to go to the Greek side, we would have to like show that we're like a citizen and this and that. And yeah, there's like a border in the country, like just the one little island, uh, if you want to go over the Greek side. And I'm assuming a lot of people get turned down to even go there. Sorry, there's something in my fucking nose. It's just crawling up there, dude. Um, yeah, some people got rejected to even go in the Greek side. So, you know, there's, I guess, a little bit... Not It's not war, though, between each other right now. It's just... Uh, they're not exactly 100% peaceful with each other yet, I guess. But definitely people aren't dying or anything, so that's good. As far as I know. I hope people aren't. <laughs> Didn't seem that bad. Uh, the Greek side, though, is beautiful. I think if you ever were to travel to Cyprus, you'd probably be going to the Greek side. Just because I think that's more where the tourist tr attraction is. Uh, what the fuck was that message? Oh, okay. Oops. Sorry about that. I don't know what the fuck that was. Um, I think that was Skype. You're going to roast me now for using Skype, aren't you? That's okay. That's all right, dude. Look, I have Skype for, like, just Abdul's mom okay literally she doesn't want to switch to using discord so that's why i use it okay thanks um but yeah my trip there was amazing it's a beautiful place i went to the greek side obviously to visit um 
The Greek side has like Starbucks and Pizza Hut and things like that. I don't think the Turk side has that. It's a bit more modern, I guess. It is a lot more expensive to live on the Greek side though. Um, one thing you will know about that island is it has three different currencies. The Greek side uses euros. Um, and the Turkish side uses Turkish lira. And I don't really know where the pound comes into play. I think some people get paid in pounds or something. But if you want to buy a house on Cyprus, you'll have to spend pounds to buy it. If you want to buy a car, it comes in euros. And then just anything else is either Turkish lira or it's euros if you're on the Greek side. So I don't I don't really know, man. Like if I want to buy a house on the Greeks on the Turkish side, they're gonna ask me for pounds. Like I'm like what? And if you know anything about pound versus Turkish lira, it's a huge difference. So yeah, it's uh, very weird. Small island, very small population. Like what two million? If even if is it even that much? I don't really know. And uh, they have three currencies for that. That's uh, a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I don't know what the point of it is, honestly. It, I, all I know is if you are getting paid in Turkish Lira, you can hardly afford a car even. Because uh, what's, what's Euro? Like one to six, I want to say. I want to say one Euro is like six Turkish Lira. And as far as I remember, my cousin that was working uh, on the Turkish side, she was getting paid like 15 Turkish Lira per hour, which is like three Canadian dollars an hour. Um, so like I said, that place is very cheap if you were to ever go on the Turkish side. It's very cheap, dude. Uh, we're talking, you could get, um, what is it? I think I, the one, well, many times, I would get like three pieces of kebab, like three skewers, uh, rice, this, that, pita bread, drink for like, 10 Canadian dollars, which is like, I don't know, seven to eight American dollars or something. So, uh, definitely a place that I don't know, this might sound weird, but I've considered actually maybe one day trying to move there. Um, not just specifically because it's cheaper there. Um, many different reasons, including taxes. I think on that Island, I'd be paying a whole lot less in taxes. Uh, which I guess is a good thing, obviously, because that can really add up, honestly. I'm not sure just how taxes work there, though. I believe there's like a private tax and then like a, a, a public tax. I think private organizations don't really get taxed there. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure the entire place is run by casinos or something on the Greek side, and there's a lot of money laundering there. So I, I wouldn't be getting involved in that shit, but I do believe that there's a lot of money laundering in that area. Uh, some of the casinos there apparently you can only go there if you're actually visiting the country. Like it's only for tourists. It's not even for people that are live there. Um, like you're not allowed to go in. They, they would ask to see your passport and it'd have to be from a different country. Um, so that just screams money laundering to me, probably who fucking knows. Um, and some of the bars there get this, all the feminists out there, dude, some of the bars there, dude, I'm pretty sure you can only walk into a bar if you have a girl with you and you're a guy. You, I don't think as a guy you can actually go into a bar alone. Now, that could be more of a myth. My uncle told me this. I would always go with my cousins anyways and there's like guys and girls anyways, so uh, we would get in. But uh, yeah, if I was to go by myself, I, I don't think they'd actually let me into some of these places. Maybe that's more the strict ones, but um, that's kind of crazy to think about, dude. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. You get you get to like lighten up the place with a bunch of women in there rather than just a bunch of pervy men. So I guess it makes sense in terms of advertising the bar, you know, for more people. You don't want to go to a bar with all men, do you? I mean, I wouldn't mind, dude. I'm not. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with uh, trying it. You know what I mean? But yeah, very, very small island. You can pretty much see the beach from like any house that you're living in. So that to me was kind of a game changer, dude. Kind of do wonder sometimes how much my life would be, you know, different, how different it would be if I was to live in a different area. Growing up in Canada was great, obviously. I feel like I'm privileged to shit living here, but uh, dude, the winters, man, five, six months of snow. Yeah, you know depressing that shit is. Um, yeah, I don't like it. It's it's depressing. And just thinking that I could have possibly lived on an island where it's like a beach everywhere. I know you'd get tired of the beach if you live on the beach all the time, but I don't know if I would, man. I, I, dude, I'm a guy that loves the heat and I love the water. 
it's just always what I've liked since I was young. So I definitely enjoyed my time at the beach there. It was great. Got a crazy good tan. Um, so yeah, that was the trip pretty much. I have pictures, but I'll probably, I'll probably forget to put them in this video. I'm going to be honest with you. So let's just say they're not on the screen right now, but if they are, then <laughs> made you look bitch. There's nothing there. Probably. I'm not putting time into editing. I told you I'm 2010. We don't do no editing here. All right. Um, I wouldn't even know where to find them. They're somewhere on my phone. I think and I have to put them on the computer, I guess, or some shit. So yeah, just believe it. There was very nice waters and everything. So everything was good. Um, the other thing I was going to discuss, what the fuck was it? Dude, I forget. Uh, huh? Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What the hell was it? Right, the house. That was it. Sorry, I had to pause just to remember that shit. Um, yeah, I don't think I've talked much about the house since I've moved in. Um, one thing I can say is I'm very happy I got it, I believe. I, 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 I'm still keeping up to date with the prices of houses where I live. Just to see how much money I might lose. Even though you don't normally lose money off real estate, but... Um, at the moment, there's like a pretty big bubble where I live, honestly. Like, the prices of houses are quite insane. Um, I believe it, honestly, is like the same almost everywhere in the world. I've heard a lot about Australia having quite inflated housing. Uh, America, obviously, does, unless you're in Texas. I've seen some fucking prices of those homes there. That shit is crazy, bro. The houses in Texas, my god, they are mansions, they are beautiful. And they're like $100, man. That is crazy shit. If I, if I, dude, if I live in US and I'm a YouTuber or streamer, I'm moving to Texas. I don't know why you motherfuckers aren't. You need to move to Texas. I don't care if there's nothing to do there or something. I mean, I'm pretty sure there is actually. Um, got Dallas and you've got a few other places. Uh, Houston, obviously, all that shit. But, dude, I'm not American. Don't, don't expect me to know all that shit. All I know is you've got Dallas there, you've got Houston there, you've got. There's like one or two more that are quite well known. Uh, sta not states, sorry. Uh, cities. What is the other one? Fuck. Houston, Texas, Dallas. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, dude. Uh, also, there's no um, that tax, the state tax, I think it's called, right? Hey, dude, I'm Canadian. I know a lot about America. You see this shit right here, dude? But yeah, if I lived in America, that's where I'd be moving. That's 100% where you should be moving if you're a YouTuber or streamer, dude. Or any type of online bullshit where you can do it anywhere uh, in your country or the world live in. Um, cheap housing, good places. I, you know, I know it's too hot there for some people, but I guess if you... D dude, you're going to be in your house playing RuneScape all day. Don't talk, alright? You don't care about the weather. It's better than having winter, alright? Trust me. It's way better. Uh, but yeah, the house is, uh, I, I guess I would like to view it more as an investment for long term. Um, there are some good things I learned with buying the house. Uh, I don't think I talked about this on YouTube, have I? In my last ramble video, I'm pretty sure I talked a little bit about it. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. Um, but I guess this is like a few months after moving in. Uh, in terms of loneliness, I don't feel too much more lonely than I was with my mom and sister in the house. Uh, mostly because when I was sleeping, they'd be awake. When I was awake, they'd be sleeping. So it's like they weren't really even there the entire time. So uh, that doesn't change much. I will admit, though, when I see my mom and my sister now, it feels a bit more like special, I guess. Put that in brackets, probably. Um, or quotations, that is. Uh, you know, it, it almost feels nice. It's like, because it's not all the time, right? It's kind of rare now to see my mom. I would see her maybe like once a week-ish sometimes. I don't see her for two weeks versus I used to see her every day. Um, yeah, yeah, it makes uh, the moment feel a bit more special when you're in the car with them or something. You're talking to them in general. So, you know, that's, I guess, a nice thing, right? It brains it up a little bit. And uh, sister as well. Didn't think I'd say that about the sister, but, you know, it's good to see her too, man. It's like I'm growing up and shit. I, uh, I am thinking and I'm considering it, I think. Maybe next year. We're not really too sure. Um, I've considered moving back with them and renting out the house that I'm currently living in just for about a year or two. Not for like financial reasons or anything. I'm not struggling. Okay, this isn't one of those like, yeah, I'm not making it, dude. Um, no, everything's fine, honestly. It's more just about I would like to save a bunch of extra money in that time. Um, 
how would I word it? Uh, I'm not a huge spender when it comes to things. Like, I will spend when I have to, obviously, but I know the job I currently have will not be here forever, most likely. And if it will be, then hey, that's great. But I'm not planning on it being here forever. Um, so I'm not going to go and spend all the money that I make and just make stupid decisions. I want to not work when I'm, you know, 70 years old, obviously. So uh, if moving back in with the mom for a year or two means I save like an extra 20 grand or something, a bit more than that, actually. I've done the math, dude. It's a lot. Um, then, hey, so be it, dude. That's, that's a lot of extra money to have. Um, if anything, that's another down payment on a home, honestly. So um, I've considered that, just moving back in for a year or two, saving a bunch more money. And then uh, maybe moving back in here after that. Or who knows, dude, if things are still going well, you could continue renting out this house and you could always buy a new one. Um, when I say buy a new one, I don't want you guys to think I have $8 million in the bank. When I say buy a new one, I'm talking like you put down 20 grand on a house and then you get a mortgage and then the bank owns your house pretty much for the next 25 years. It doesn't mean you're buying it for cash, all right? That's not what's going on. I'm not that loaded, all right? So, uh, yeah, that would be uh, an ideal plan, but a bit scary in my opinion. Like, shit, what if you can't find someone to rent out your house, dude? <laughs> then you're paying two mortgages, man. That's my only fear. So if I was to do that, like I said, I'd probably make sure I have extra money saved in the bank in case something like that happens. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. That's some real shit right there, isn't it? That's some real shit right there. Uh, but anyways, I'm probably going to, I don't even know why the fuck I'm awake right now. I just felt like rambling a bit tonight. Uh, I would love to do more of these if I could think of things to talk about more often. A lot of them are discussed normally on stream anyway. So if you're from my stream, you're probably like, dude, I heard this motherfucker talk about all these topics already. Fuck this guy. I didn't watch, I watched this for no reason. Uh, but hey, at the end of the day, it was something to listen to, I guess. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for listening. I, uh, I'm go oh, there's a few more things to talk about. Maybe I'll save those for the video, for the next video, maybe? Ramble? I don't know. Like, I wish I could make this a weekly thing. Then again, I only upload once a week, if even. So, if I made a ramble a week, that would be, like, the majority of my videos on YouTube. So, uh, I don't know if people want to actually see that. At that point, I might just drive my channel into the grave. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I was going to talk about that new face guard thing coming out next week, I think. Um, like the, the new quest coming out with it or some shit. Now Serp Helm's not going to be the best anymore. There's not much to say. I'll just say I don't really agree with the change. Um, I won't go to specifics as of right now, but yeah, not a big Look at my cash stack and suck my cock, bitch. Thank you for watching. Just a reminder to download Guild of Heroes in the description below to receive some goodies. Thank you for supporting the channel.